absolute utter disaster. Absolute utter disaster. Shambles. <laughs> While you're here, hit that thumbs up, also pass out my page and hit that subscribe button. Thanks very much guys. Hi, uh, alright everybody, welcome back. A uh, long time no speak, well just a week, so whatever, seven days. Uh, sorry that there's not much going on on the videos and that the, day, uh, the, the last couple of weeks and that, I haven't really had much to show. Um, as you've seen earlier there, an absolute disaster. Because what I've actually found out is, if you have a look at this, right, you can see, that's my own compost there, yeah? So the chilli plants are bouncing right back, looking nice and healthy, nice and green, full of life. I need to strip all the lower leaves off yeah, so it'll produce more growth out the top. Yeah, because I haven't tipped the, snipped the grown tips off or anything like that. Um, and this is compost, another 7,000 litres that I bought. Uh, from an individual on Facebook, um, where it turns out that it's high in acid, it's highly acidic. So when I've been looking it up, uh, apparently it's he hasn't composted the, he hasn't finished the composting process. So I've ended up buying basically something that I kind of grow in, because I'll show you around the garden and you'll see exactly what I mean. Absolute rubbish. <laughs> Good job, I didn't see what I was going to say there. Uh, but I absolute rubbish. Absolutely paid off. Can I believe it? So all the... Oh, really? Uh, all the preparation that I've done for the last few months has been for absolutely no. Like, nothing. Absolutely gutted. So, it is what it is. Uh, kind of change it now. So it'll just be a case of... Uh, I'm sweet. Oh, bugger. It went too long in there. <laughs> Sorry. Mm, maybe it'll be, maybe I'll be. We'll pop there, mood. Uh, I'll find somewhere for them. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, absolute shambles. Gutted isn't the word. So uh, like I say, I just have to persevere and get on with it. Uh, I've been speaking to Dave Sean. He says try a high nitrogen feed. So I've got some nettle tea that I set away a while ago, mixed with uh, seaweed. So. Fingers crossed that'll that should help them out. Um I'm gonna try that the day. I'm uh, actually busy putting up some begonias here at the minute. Yeah, uh, got some begonias which should have been potted up ages ago, but I never got round to doing it. Uh so I'll I'll tell you what, I'll leave you up there. Uh and uh we'll just get some begonias uh potted up and stuff. Uh also, what I have brought along, just give a second there, folks, where I've put them. Look at them beauties. Beauties! A uh, couple of Beth Alpha cucumbers there that I've, uh, I grew a couple of, uh, I started them a few weeks ago, because obviously I i seen what mine were like and I thought, eh, that's rubbish. So I've uh, I potted some more up for my brother-in-law, but he hasn't got round to getting the greenhouse and out, so I thought, why, I may as well pot them up. They're the perfect time to pot up as well. Uh, so they're looking absolutely cracking. So I'm going to pot them up anyways, and we'll get some extra cucumber plants there. Eh? So cushy mushy. Uh, so I'll tell you what, I'll just put them down there for a second, and I'll... Uh, I just bought a cheap bag of compost from Wil um, Wilkinson's, from Aldi, because I was there the day and I thought, wait, get me weekly shop, and it was only two pound out of bag, and I thought, wait, I haven't got any other compost at the minute, and I'm not using that rubbish that I bought, so, uh, I, I mean, uh, I mean, it's not all bad, you know, like the, 
that uh, Dave Shaw got a load as well uh, a couple of weeks before me. But I mean, the lad was in high demand for uh, for compost and that. Uh, so I mean, obviously, like to try and keep the flow of product, uh, he's obviously uh, he's had to use stuff that's a bit premature. Um, but you know, it is what it is, and I uh, see so I can't do nothing about it now. So that's a problem when. Well, I mean, to be honest, you, you, you get them problems if you buy store-bought compost sometimes as well, you know, uh, kind of be held. Well, there we go. There's one. Uno cucumbo! <laughs> Whatever that means. So, aye, that's that. Uh, that's that one. And the same amount of compost in this tub as there is that one, so... Just topping up with this as well. Well, be, uh, next year, and uh, not to do that again. So, but I mean, uh, I've been reading up that it'll automatically uh, balance itself out uh, as it decomposes properly itself. Uh, it will eventually equal itself out. So, uh, not all is lost. So, uh, I'll be two of sex, folks. I just finished doing this. Uh, I'm gonna keep the compost where it is, uh, and just keep doing what I'm doing, really. Uh, so that's them. Lovely jubbly, couple of uh, couple of cucumbers done. So that's that. Uh, I'm just gonna find a space for them now. Yes, that's a, that's a good question. That way, like, a space for them. I've got too much in here still, man. Most of these should be out. What kid was meant to pick them here, though? Right, let the cucumber go in there. Right, I can get rid of these mines and that because then that will move. Right, that's that. Well, I mean, I'm gonna actually uh, try and bring me because I put melons in it as well. And obviously, I thought it was a neutral pH, uh, but uh, so that's what me melons has turned out like. Mm -hmm. Very sad because uh, Sean and my partner she absolutely loves melons, so and that's why I grew them because I thought, why if I can grow a melon, happy days. So I'll just try that and see if that. Comes along. I'm just gonna get some water. The lad next door as well, Ian. Uh, he actually, uh, he actually got some of the compost off us as well. I mean, it's his first year on the plot. Uh, next, me next door neighbour on the allotment. Uh, he actually, he actually got a, a, a few bar well, about nine barrel loads of compost. And unfortunately, he put all his tomatoes in it, and his are about that big. So, I mean, uh, it just shows you, like, you know, just someone obviously profiteering from, like, the high demand of what's going on at the minute. Uh, and I've ended up losing everything that I prepared and I've lost everything, you know. Well, I suppose not all's lost, but, you know, I've lost the majority of the stuff that I've worked hard to try and get has resulted in nothing. So, uh, well, I put that in again, yes, begonias. 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 All right, so, yeah, uh, I took a reading. Uh, I think like perfect soil pH or something's like six and a half or something like that. Uh, or so, something daft like that. Uh, and the pH on my soil's five between five and five and a half. So it's absolutely rubbish. So uh, it was just touching on the red on the pH. Um, the pH uh, tester. 
bought one off eBay for about 10 quid or something. Uh, and uh, also I did, I did check for anyone that's wondering, I did check other soil. I have some compost in the back of my greenhouse that's got tomatoes in different compost uh, which are growing lovely and healthy and the pH on that's like six and a half. Uh, so I mean I, it's the pH test hasn't brought it out. Uh, but I, I knew, I knew because I mean you look at one set of chilies and then you look at the other chilli and it's uh, one's knackered and one's not, you know, so I mean you can tell, you can tell which one's not knackered because obviously one's grown and one's not, <laughs> uh, but you know, it's unfortunate. The show must go on. Hey, I'm happy with that, like, I'm over the moon with that. I'll bring it in. I've, uh, I've just been popping up my begonias there and I've managed to get, what, the uh, five, thirteen blooming plants there. So I'm happy with that, like, as, uh, seeing as I didn't actually think I had that many, I thought I only had about nine. So, hey, look at that. Great, eh? But these, if I grow these on, look after them, I can, uh, I can throw these on into tubers uh, and they'll come up nicely for next year so happy days fingers crossed anyway let's see what happens uh, I don't know, I'm looking a bit dry like it's still quite heavy though I don't want to magic mushroom soup let's not eat that eh? <laughs> Well, there we are folks, that has it. That's me begonias and that done. Happy days, happy days. Uh, right, I'll, see you. Oh, I'll spin you around and I'll show you me, uh, yep. I'll show you me other cucumber plant in the other corner. So there you have it. There's me other cucumber starting to shoot loads of cucumbers. Uh, that's uh, Fem Spot F1. So. There's plenty of cucumber shooting off that, so I'll keep my mince has open, my mince pies open for any of the some fem spot F1 seeds. So yes, I'll uh, the the beetroot is absolutely unreal. The beetroot at the minute, it's shooting right off. Uh, I've got beetroots like like that already, uh, so them them won't be too long and coming out like. Uh, you didn't want them getting too big as they end up a bit, yeah. Apparently, anyways. Uh, I'll uh, I'll show you around a few bits that I haven't gotten around to showing people. Uh, no, no, I'll um, oh ants, ants man. Where's the uncles? <laughs> well, aye. Anyways, uh, let's just uh, put her on. And I'll, I'll crack on. And I'll. Look at that, potatoes in the flower bed. 
honestly. Right. Anyways, let's see. I'll, I'll, I'll take him on and I'll show you the verdicts of the soils and what the crack is and that with them. So I'll uh, I'll speak to you shortly, right? I'll, I'll well I'll, I'll speak to you shortly. I'll speak to you now. I'll spin you around. So there, as you can see, the tomatoes in the back of here are lovely and green, full of life, happy as Larry, getting full trusses of tom like full trusses, well full so full truss of flowers at the minute. Uh, but as you can see they're looking nice and healthy then you come down here and you look at the peppers and they look absolutely garbage like the worst peppers I've ever had yellow yellow mealy yellow lovely and green usually and then I'll take you into the take you into here exactly the same variety of tomatoes right ones I got off Dave's show knackered right yellow all yellow there's a couple one or two that are actually like like greenish ish uh, but the rest of them yellow absolutely knackered my leeks are nice they are right but i mean a lot slower growing than like the other lads that i see a lot slower my onions aren't too bad but they're still very very slow i reckon i'll probably get bigger onions out the garden than what i do out of here so uh, I and as you can see the flower garden just like weird colors on the plants so I'm gonna try giving them a high nitrogen feed the day some nettle tea and seeing if that will bring them out a bit see if it'll bring them on I mean the dahlias haven't even got flowers on yet and I planted them like over a month ago I mean as you can imagine I am absolutely paid off for that. So, yes, all the hard work and the preparation, the sowing the seeds, preparing the beds, the full lot. Just a sec there, folks. It's an absolute nightmare. Gutted, gutted. So, uh, well, it is what it is, kind of be health. Uh, so I'll, uh, I think that's, that's pretty much it for the day. Uh, like I say, I'm just gonna go around, water up, uh, and then I'll probably do a plot update. I, I'm, I'm probably just going to stick to doing one plot update at the beginning of the month each month. So my next plot update is not going to be until the beginning of July. Uh, so uh, I mean I am going to do a weekly video every week and that and keep everyone up to scratch and that of what, what I'm doing and what I'm, what I'm going to be doing. Uh, but keep your men's pies open on this channel because uh, we've inherited a conservatory recently. Um, like a square conservatory, I think it's about a, about a 10 or 12 by 10 or something like that, roughly, rough, rough guesstimate. Uh, I haven't actually had the tape measure on it, but uh, yes, it, it's a kind of size. Uh, so what we're actually planning on doing is the wooden greenhouse there. Uh, we're thinking about extending that onto the side of that greenhouse, because uh, it has a slide door on one side, and then I'll, uh, the other side is obviously attached to the house. So. We're gonna to have to try and make a well. If we attach it to the side of the greenhouse, it'll be fine. But I'm gonna put like a partition in it, so that we can keep a door closed and then the the sliding door shut, so we can heat it up in the winter and that. Obviously, it'd be a lot more. Uh, it'll contain and keep a lot more heat in than a normal greenhouse. Uh, so that's that's the plan. That's the plan, anyways. Um, so I that I mean. As you can imagine, that's a big job, that. And obviously, I've got the polytunnel, the onion house, on the other side to do. <sighs> bit of juice. Um, so, I, you can imagine, I've got quite a lot of bit, uh, quite a lot going on for next year. Uh, so, um, I think that's pretty much it for, for the day, anyways, this weekend and that. Uh, I didn't get no footage yesterday, I came up and it was just too wet and uh, plus uh, one of the lads that I know, Mark Cook, he's a subscriber and he also subscribes to a few other lads, I met him through work, um, he's actually managed uh, to get a plot on you, so, because the waiting list wasn't very long on you, so, uh, but he, he, he's managed to, like I say, to get a, get a plot, uh, so I'll be doing updates on his plot as well, because, uh, He's working the house is cracking, so we'll we'll see what the future brings for his plot. 
I'll, uh, I'll get a video of what his plot looks like at the minute and I'll put that on uh, it's an absolute mess uh, there's there's the sheds to well uh, the sheds not too bad the structure is solid but the the roofs not that uh, but I look Babylon right uh, I think that's pretty much it really so uh, that's it take care stay safe and the banana out one day